as a mom, um, I really didn't understand just how addictive it was. I mean, when the doctor said it was okay, I assumed it was okay. I'm a CEO of a company um, in the pharmaceutical business. I've been in healthcare on the payer side of things my entire career. So how ironic is it that my child develops an addiction to a prescription drug? My son was 19 years old when he tore his kidney. Um, he went into the ICU and was prescribed um, opioids. And what I didn't know is that even when they stopped prescribing it for him that he continued to use. Then it turned from use to abuse to addiction, full-blown addiction. Trying to pick yourself up every day and just get dressed and, and walk into the office um, was difficult when you know that your child's health and well-being is kind of hanging in the, in the balance. Moms want to fix things for their kids. And I couldn't. I couldn't fix him. But I didn't have the answers. And I didn't have anyone to talk to about it. My employees didn't know I was suffering from it either. And nor did my son's coworkers know that he was going through it. And I think it's kind of the best kept secret. And businesses kind of want to close their eyes to it. You have somebody who's dealing with cancer and comes in and they're in remission, we're celebrating that. We're celebrating in the lunchroom. We're asking them when we see them, how are you doing? How are you feeling? And yet when you're dealing with it, either as a patient of substance use disorder or as a, as a loved one, no one's talking to you about it. And just think about how much more productive those people would be if they actually had that support system there. I'm happy to report that my son is in recovery. And the reality is, is I respect him probably more than I respect almost anybody I've met in my life. The strength that he had to, to pull from to get through this, and knowing that every single day it's still a struggle, um, he's taught me a lot. But just the fact that it's out in the open and that people like myself are sharing without shame provides me some hope that, that maybe we can start treating substance use disorder differently.